Hi, wow. so good. How are you? Good, especially after talking to everyone here. Uh, I, you know, I want to start with you guys. Uh, one of the things I think is so interesting about this film, uh, I'm going to start with you, Rory. Uh, you guys kind of have a similar connection to, you know, Lorraine and Ed in, in this film, your characters. Was that kind of discussed? I mean, that must be surreal to kind of be playing opposite those two who are so great in these movies. Can you talk about that? It is surreal. And it's even more surreal when you thought you'd seen Conjuring 1 and you're about to start Conjuring 3 the next day, but it turns out you've actually seen Insidious Part 1. So then you watch <laughs> Conjuring 1 and 2 back to back <laughs> the night before you, your first rehearsal with Patrick and Vera. Um, and of course, Sarah Catherine, and I think Shannon as well. Um, and then they're across the table from you saying, Arnie, did you, did you do it? And you're like, oh no, this is, this is weird. This is weird. <laughs> so that was surreal. But I, yeah, I, I often found myself even like talking to Sarah Catherine, we'd pal around on set and go to craft services together. But we would be, I'd certainly be looking at Patrick and Vera and like what warmth they had for each other and for the project in general and how happy and unencumbered they were between takes. Whereas at the start, I was trying to listen to like Nine Inch Nails and dark music to try and stay in it. Whereas if you try to stay in it the whole time, you'll run out of interest and energy in it entirely. And you know, Patrick would be sitting there eating his chicken sandwich and scroll on his phone and showing funny videos to Vera. So by the end, I feel like we were much more like them in that regard into filming it. And I think it's such a huge compliment to say that, to even compare us to them because yeah. their palpable chemistry is, is the, the beating heart of these films. And even subconsciously, if we, we would probably be trying to emulate that because I think it's the real unique selling point of the Conjuring films. I agree. Sarah Catherine, I, I, did you, what was it? What did, what advice did Vera give you? Did she ever say, yeah, you know what? Do this or do that. Did she, did, was there ever a moment like that? Um, I had a really lovely chat with her in the very, very beginning, but it was mostly me just being like, I love you and I love your work. I can't believe I'm here. I mean, it was, I wasn't, I really was trying not to be like, tell me what to do. I, I'm so scared. I was just, just very like, keeping my distance, but in just quietly observing it all. And that's kind of how it went. I felt, I felt, cause I, I did most of my scenes with them from the first few weeks. And I just felt like all I was doing was watching. Like I was just kind of like a fly on the wall, observing their behavior with one another and seeing how they interact and like how they have such adorable, like witty banter before they like right before action. And then they would just like immediately just shift into Ed and Lorraine so beautifully. And I was just kind of like, oh my God, they're, these guys are, these guys are it. They are, they are pros, which I obviously knew that, but it's just, it's, it's so different, obviously seeing it in real life, like not watching them on just on the screen, but like watching their process. Um, but yeah, so for sure, that was, it was just, it was amazing working with them. Now uh, I, we, I've got one more question for you guys, I, cause it's a quick time, but did you guys ever get to talk to any of the people actually involved? Either yeah, uh, yeah, wow. we, yeah. Uh, Debbie and Arnie came to set um, at least once. And it's it's funny because it is a more sensitive topic as someone actually died in you know the events that inspired this film. So I always found it, I, I was a bit timid and awkward in meeting Arnie. Um, and Debbie was a lot more rebunctious anyway. But me and Arnie were kind of both a bit shy and looked, kind of gazed at each other, but didn't really know what to say. And I think Sarah Catherine has a very different relationship with Debbie. Um, yes, yeah, I, I I spoke with Debbie pretty often um, throughout the filming process and after as well. We we built this really lovely relationship, and um, yeah, that was that was very special to get to to have that bond with her and for her for them to come to set too. I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. Well, you guys are marvelous. I really had a great time with this movie, and, and congratulations. You. Thanks. Thank you so much. We appreciate Welcome. it. Cheers, guys. Bye.